all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video um this is this is from the podcast called bartender talk they invited me for for an interview so if you guys want to check out the whole podcast um click on the description down below where it says bartender talk and check it out right there all right let's begin like a what does that mean exactly to be socially intelligent being happy well first of all so social intelligence is 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 mostly about not being self-absorbed not not always thinking about yourself not seeing the world through your own eyes but making an effort to see the world through other people's eye mm. too many people are too self-consumed yeah too self-absorbed where they're not able to even sense the hostility in people's voices right they can't even sense when they have an enemy staring at them in their face yeah. because they just keep thinking about their own insecurities it's all about me 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 and you think you're looking at the world when in reality you're just looking at yourself mm. you know mm -hmm. the world is more of your background and your emotions are more of your main focus and so a lot of people never truly connect with people never really never really know people at an emotional level and for it's me sad. yeah it, it, it's sad but that's where dating comes into place where dating will force you into either looking at yourself or it will beat you to submission to the point where you become bitter that's there's no really other true. way to no there's no two way around that you can't escape that reality okay. you know so so it's kind of like, so on point what you just said yeah, so yeah. on point yeah yeah, yeah. And, and that's why you have a lot of bitter people you, you see a lot of older people who are bitter who are sad a lot of our parents a lot Very of common. our aunts yeah yeah, so common. yeah and, they, and, and and it's kind of like it's sad seems people at, at an older age who failed and who gave up yeah you know and and it's kind of like for me that's what motivates me it's kind of like i don't i, I want to make sure that you never get to that point and where where you 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 look back at your life and it's not that you didn't have an opportunity to find somebody but that you fucked it up like mm. for me if somebody doesn't like you it's fine just don't fuck it up yeah 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 <laughs> those are the ones i hurt the most yeah the ones that where, where if we would have not just said that if we would have not just called them it would have worked out yeah you know, and, and that to me, that's the, that's the, the, the one that if there's something that I could teach people is that 95% of the people you're going to meet are not going to like you. 95% oh. of the people you're going to meet, you're not going to have chemistry with them, yeah. either with friends and the opposite sex. Yeah. So you got to lower your expectations. A lot of people fail. You just never hear it because it's embarrassing. Yeah. You know, you, you, you never hear people getting played. And so you think you're alone in this island. Yeah. Alex, yo. Well, psh. You knocked it out of the park. Yeah, absolutely. Yo, that was now deep. you see why I love him that, like that this. That was deep. That was deep. So <laughs> now, with, with that said, let me ask you a question. How, how does love happen? Is love a lowering of your expectations, or is love a result of me and somebody who's at your level? Yeah. Or acceptance, because you really have to accept the person, like accept their differences too. Like you're not gonna find exactly what you're looking like, mm. like a checklist or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's not a lowering of your, of your expectations because when you when you settle, you it, it'll eventually backfire on you. You'll get those yeah. pretty pictures. Most likely, you settle to shut your parents up and whatever. That's a that's not real love, but that's what most people think is love, mm -hmm. unfortunately. And you gotta feel for them. Mm -hmm. um, for me, there there's two. I call it natural chemistry, right? Where there are people who you meet that you have great chemistry with, right? And, and 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 you just vibe with them there's no words for it you you could just have a great conversation with them um those people are the ones that are the hardest to really evaluate because that chemistry is so addictive and easy mm -hmm. like it's just easy right? it, 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 having chemistry with <laughs> so a woman and, or with a man that's perfect is better than sex i don't i don't care who you are i agree yeah. like I, I when you have that chemistry where you feel even kissing her it feels like a euphoria it it, it, it doesn't compare to anything and so you 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 overlook a lot of flaws simply because they make you feel a certain way yeah yeah they yeah. become a drug mm -hmm. And and that is love, but it's toxic love. Oh, just the way we like just it. Just toxic love. <laughs> um, um, it's the most addictive kind of love. It's a, it, but it's unfortunately it's a kind of love that that corrodes you inside. It it destroys you. It's not the type of thing that you want. Yes. Now you have the other kind where you have great chemistry, same chemistry, but you guys are compatible. You guys want the same thing. Um, you guys want. Um, um he's healthy for you. That's the good kind of love. Um, we can't say that just because they're toxic, that don't mean that they love each other, but that they just have a toxic love. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um. So it's 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 that's that's what I think love is. Um. I could be do wrong. You, do you think that that toxic love always fades eventually because it's based on like that lust behind it and not so much like the basis of what you said, like that healthy foundation. Well, toxic love is not based on 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 the on the lust because lust. Well, you guys would just have sex for a few weeks and it'll and be it'll over. It'll be over. Oh, okay, I got the, you. The toxic love is 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 a kind of love that is is is, is hard to run away from because oh, I see because it, 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 there's the hope of maybe this time it will be different, different yeah. or they'll change. Yeah, totally. You I become a prisoner you. of hope. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, now. yeah, that, that's deep. Now, regular folks. At what point do you say I'm not tolerating nothing else from this person? Well, it's kind of like it's very hard to know that point when you're in that when when you're in that wave of emotion, you will keep moving the goalpost. First two weeks to slow the spread. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's get the vaccine first and then we'll stop. Right, right. Seventy five percent. Then last week, ninety five percent. Hey, the goalpost just keeps getting moved up. Yeah. Right. And so we mentally move up the goalpost because we really want to see them. And you got to realize your mind will play tricks on you. You think you're not moving the goalposts. Yeah. You know, and that's how the mind plays tricks on you. So you got to make those mistakes first mm. and evaluate. And unfortunately, that mistake might mean you losing the love of your life. Mm. You know, and, 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 and that's how you learn your lesson. A lot of people are hard headed. A lot of a lot of people don't have premature wisdom. They don't just learn from other people's mistakes. That's they got to so see true. themselves. What, yeah. what do you think is the biggest mistake men make in relationships? Um, well, in relationships, or like even in the beginning, like well, you meet a girl, you start dating, like accepting what's, what's, uncertainty from women, mm -hmm. accepting uncertainty. Shout out my brother, CEO Vlad. Oh, shout out. <laughs> accepting uncertainty in terms of her, like, or or even like accepting inconsistencies, accepting lateness. Like that's their biggest mistake. They shouldn't do that. They well, shouldn't. Ex they shouldn't accept it. Well, it, it 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 you see it it truly does depend. Like it's just that women ninety percent of the times the women you meet will lose interest in you. So you have to assume it's not gonna work out. Oh wow! Right, right. Assume assume that this girl who you're seeing, well, you're not gonna see her no more. You have to because it does happen. Women, women will just try their best to show you they like you Facts. because they want to be polite. They don't want to hurt you. And and people, it's like it's like when you go out with a girl. I'm never that polite person. Well, good. <laughs> Oops. No, 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 that's good. But it's it's like when you go out with a girl that and and she doesn't look at her photos. I'm like fuck. She's like a she, she's fat man. Some bullshit. <laughs> you know. But then you don't want to be mean to her. You're like, oh y'all see you next time. Yeah, call me, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, call me because I don't want to make her feel bad. <laughs> right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's kind of like with people that you <laughs> meet. DJ Sparks. <laughs> expect it not to work. Lower those expectations. Lower them. Lower yes. them to the ground so that if anything positive happens. It's a it's a positive surprise. It's a, it's like it's just the thing is, is that when we're so desperate, when we're so hungry for love, we 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 have our hopes up every moment. Every moment is a moment of hope, mm. and it's not to be pessimistic. It's more about rationally being um, negative, rationally negative in a rational way, not negative from a place of trauma, but negative in a rational way. You like, I'm no, I'm dealing with a woman here. She doesn't know what she wants. She might be choosing between me and another guy. My, me or Tyrone. <laughs> so it's kind of like, you I never know. Tyrone. You never know. Like, or Luis, or Luis the Puerto Rican. <laughs> like, know, right? You never know. So it's kind of like, you just have to be that negative because what women will try to do, they'll try to, they'll, they'll try to make you think it's going to happen. Right. You know, mm -hmm. because it can also mean you could give her something. Yeah. You know, how do you, how, how do you control a child who's, who's compulsive, promise him a surprise and all of a sudden that kid will behave. Yeah. You know, so what yeah. they'll do, they the women will put a guy in their prison of hope. They're like, maybe one day, maybe one day. No, fuck that shit. Expect it's not going to work out. And she'll sense that you're pulling away. And if she likes you, she'll show you her cards. And But 95% of the times you realize that they really didn't like you. So if you're a guy that's just like me who considers himself a nice guy and you in your whole life you've been getting played by women, this is the course for you. Remember, I was a Bible teacher for most of, for most of my life. As a teenager, so I was I was the I was the the quintessential nice guy. So this course that I created is specifically made to bring out your assertive nature because when you're a nice guy, your assertiveness is suppressed. So by learning by watching this course, you're pretty much going to learn not to get played. Now, mind you, you're not going to turn into a white guy into a black guy. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not going to happen because you see a white guy and then you see a big old black guy named Tyrone. That's not going to happen. What's going to happen is that you're going to learn how to assert yourself in a respectful and healthy way. You're going to learn how to express yourself. You're going to learn how to demand respect from men and women. And what's going to happen at the end of this course is that men will respect you and women will bang you for the most part. Okay, so you go, and, and the beauty about this is, is that there's a 30 day money back guarantee. 30 days, so if you don't like it, just message me and I'll give you your 30, and I'll give you all of your money back and you can keep the course. So, what you can, you can learn about the source of human aggression, strategies on self assertion, how to identify different types of disrespects, right? How to deter aggression, signs of weakness that you might be sending out that's causing people to disrespect you, right? You're gonna learn how to attack some people and who not to attack. It's pretty much gonna make you more socially intelligent. It's a course for anybody who struggles with assertion and specifically with people who've been jaded by being played by people, okay? So if you wanna purchase this course, Go to the description down below and where it says purchase nice guy and do it now. 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked. And you keep the course. God damn it. Okay. Because I am that nice, nice of a guy. Ironically. Okay. So I'll see you guys inside. And I hope you guys enjoyed this course. I put a lot of my heart in it. And I'll see you guys inside. Purchase it now. Take care. Stay toxic.